Did Epic Games ruin the fun for Season 3 with this recent hotfix, or is it good for the game? That's what we're going to be talking about today. I'm going to give my thoughts on the entire hotfix, and I would love to know what you guys think about it down below afterwards. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another video. If you are new here, my name is Kyle. I'm your guy with many YouTube channels. Let's go over the hotfix first of all. I know you guys all saw it, but we got to take a look at it. I'm going to bring it over to Shinna BR. The cars have been greatly nerfed. Reduced structure damage. Reduced health and solos. Boss cars do not automatically heal. Boom bolts deal more vehicle damage. Nitro gauntlets take longer to recharge. Less nitro shoulder bash damage. These are a lot of changes and you see, as usual to be honest with you, you see a lot of the community very divided on their opinions. I'm going to go through each one and say what I think about it and then I'm going to recap it all kind of in general and see how, like, if there's anything that I would have changed for the hotfix or even if I would have put this out to be honest. I would have changed something, actually. But again, I would love to know what you guys think down below. Anyways, reduced structure damage for the cars. I don't like that. I like the idea that they were driving through builds. But I would, I will say, don't nerf that. But I would be okay with the nerf for the Nitro. That's a little bit different for me. But I think that's the whole point of the cars being OP. I like the fact that they're just blowing through builds. Especially with the Cow Catcher, man. That's the entire point of it. But reduced health and solos. This one I actually really like. I really, really like that. And I don't know if Epic Games... If anybody can remind me in the comments, I would appreciate it. But... Has there ever been a time where they made an update for something like this just in solos? Because obviously it makes sense with a Nitro car constantly getting health, with the cars being as buffed in general as they are, right? As strong as they are. I love the idea that it's only reduced health in solos because of you don't have a team, of course, right? You can be shooting at a car, you get third party. You can't just sit there and unload an entire mag or something along those lines into a car. So I really, really like this change, to be honest with you. Boss cars do not automatically heal. I thought that was a little bit unfortunate. I really, really like that, the fact that they healed. They're the boss cars. They're the mythic cars. They're the best cars in the entire game. Perhaps you could have lowered the duration of the healing or, like, the, the speed of healing. Excuse me, but I don't like that change. Boom bolts deal more vehicle damage. I think this is a plus. I think it's a good counter to the cars, and I think Epic Games should continue adding counters to the cars. Nitro gauntlets take longer to recharge. I'm neutral on this one. I thought they were fine. I still think they're fine. Less nitro shoulder bash damage. This one... I'm okay with, I would have liked it if they would have just kept the cars doing all the structure damage and then Nitro having a little bit of a nerf. Because again, I get it, running through builds, I understand it, I liked it as it was, but again, I get it. So, the other thing that we do know is coming is, as of right now, of course, if you guys don't know, we have boogie bombs in the game. Epic Games is going to soon switch those for EMP grenades. I'm recording this yesterday at the time that you're seeing the video, so that may have already happened. A lot of people are complaining about the boogie bombs talking about how overpowered it is i love the boogie bombs love the boogie bombs they're a perfect counter for the cars if you want to have these insanely overpowered cars boogie bombs not everybody's gonna have one i think it is a perfect counter love boogie bombs and i believe that boogie bombs just made a video talking about it should be a staple in fortnite i think boogie bomb is part of fortnite's identity love the fact that we can make him dance it's a nostalgic item makes me you want to talk about the feeling of fortnite the boogie bombs are the feeling of fortnite so i love that what I don't love, actually, is the EMPs. I actually don't like that they're getting unvaulted because EMPs are very easy to find. I don't want to play a game, a season, where everybody's supposed to be driving cars and everybody's going to have EMP grenades. I don't like that unless maybe we get EMP'd, the turrets still work, then I guess I could be okay with that. But people have suggested stuff like the Anvil Rocket Launcher, the Armored Walls, Rocket Launchers in general. There are so many other things that you could unvault, and that's just scratching the surface of it. And we also have a heavy sniper coming out that does insane damage to cars. I think that's the best way to take care of the cars instead of making something that just completely renders the cars useless. This is what I was worried about. I think they're going a little bit too much nerfing the cars. I get it, okay? I get the idea that the cars should have been nerfed. I wouldn't have done it myself if I were Epic Games, but I'm not upset about that. I don't want to reach a point where the cars continue to get nerfed, which I believe is going to happen, and we're going to get more and more counters. I know there's a bunch of stuff that's going to get involved, like Dynamite, Rift to Go. Love that. Love those. But to have something that just completely makes the car useless, Boogie Bombs don't fit in that, to be honest with you, because it's a little difficult to find Boogie Bombs, and I think it's hilarious every once in a while when you do run into somebody with a Boogie Bomb, right? Boogie Bombs are great for overpowered things like mechs. They're great for overpowered th things like cars. I just think the EMPs and how common they are to find are a little bit too much. As for the season being ruined, I don't think it's ruined at all. I'm still having a blast with it. I played on stream for a little bit. Didn't notice too much of a difference in my playstyle. I'm still hopping in the cars. I'm still splattering people. To be honest with you, I haven't even really noticed, but maybe I'm just having too much fun driving the cars to notice, which is a good thing, right? 
I haven't noticed too big of a difference in driving through things. Maybe that's because I have the spike or the cow catcher. I don't know, but I haven't played around with that enough. So I'm okay with this nerf. I'm still having an absolute blast in the season. I just hope that Epic Games doesn't continue to nerf because then we would have a little bit of a problem in my opinion. I hope they keep adding stuff like we know the summer event might have the rift to go, dynamite, some more stuff. We the flintlock pistol gets you out of the way. Impulse grenades should be coming too. Armor walls, I would strongly, strongly consider if I were Epic Games. It is just a great item in general. And plus, if you want to talk about all the competitive players or sweats, whatever you want to call them, if they want to hide in their box, armored walls is the way to do it. And I'm not mad at that. I'm okay with that. If you want to play in your box, that's a good way to do it. I think that armored walls should be a strong consideration by Epic Games. Just hope they don't continue with the nerfs. But as of right now, this has not ruined the season. I know that some people are saying that it's ruined the season. I don't believe that. I'm still having a blast with the season. Cars are great. Let me know what you think about the hotfix down below, everybody. Thank you very much for watching. If you're interested, though, by the way, because I was talking about Boogie Bombs earlier being a staple in Fortnite, I made a video talking about everything that I do believe should be a staple in Fortnite. Check it out right here, guys. I will see you over there. Take care.